Okay, so I got my new to me 1871 Mauser at the range today. This is a carbine model. It's a sporter, unfortunately. But they haven't done a lot to it. The sights are original. Pretty sure the barrel length's original. All they did was cut the wood off and remove the end cap. And it looks like at some point it was drilled tap for a scope. Odd, but anyway. Uh, I've never fired this. It still has the tag on it where I bought it. And I haven't got much for, for brass. It's in pretty bad shape and I some of it's got some little cracks in the neck. So I got my sealed safety glasses on, the gasket around the top. I'm going to try and fire the ones that I loaded without dies, if they'll chamber. And then I've got some 300 Winchester Magnum that I've turned the belt off and put a step in. See if I can fire for him that. Alright. First up is a 4590 case. So that cracked down the side. A lot of these already had little splits in them. Get in there. Oh, that one's not going to chamber at all. Alright, so I just wanted to get rid of those. See, uh, it does shoot. It, does, it is safe. It will handle the pressures. Those are trail boss, light trail boss loads. Um, there's one, one but anyway. This is what I really came up here for. This is the 300 Winchester Magnum brass that I'm trying to fire for. Him. This has 0.7 cc's of tight group, which is a 44 Magnum load, half a cotton ball, a case full of flour because it's not too weak, and then the other half the cotton ball. So we'll see how these, if these fire for them. shot the neck out, it didn't really fire form that great. I think what I'll have to do is uh, kneel it, but yeah, you know, it's close enough. I can get a bullet in that now and sizing it with a bullet and firing it will definitely finish it. So the deal with these 300 wind mags is that once you turn the belt off, they're way too, the rims are way too small, they're not thick enough. So you have to fire for them and let them head space off the shoulder. And I mistakenly kind of gave that a fling all the way up into the chamber, so I'll have to get a clean rod to take that out. Try again. <coughs> Okay, so I, I got that out. Yeah, when you're fire forming these, you gotta make sure the extractor is holding into the rim so it doesn't go too far forward. I say that, it should have fucking worked. God damn it. I'll just move on to a different one. Okay, so I ran into a couple small technical difficulties there. Uh, number one, battery died. Number two, when I set the shoulder back on this, or made a shoulder, I set them back way too far. 
because I didn't have the proper set of dies so they weren't close enough to the bolt face I was able to get all but one of them to fire and the way I did that is I took a little piece of plastic and stuck in the chamber to give it some friction the one that wouldn't fire primer strikes look good I think it's a dead primer those primers are quite old and they've been outside all winter uh, some I pulled out of some other stuff I just keep them in a little bottle for fire forming stuff so I don't have to erase my good primers now I had the one round other than this one one round wooden chamber and another one wooden fire again probably a dud primer so had I have properly set the shoulder on these. I don't think it would have had any issues with them. Um, the proper cases work fine. I had two pieces of 4590 Winchester that I had found somewhere, picked up. Um, one of them had a little crack in it and that crack continued down the entire neck plus the body of it blew out um, this is a mid-level charge of trail boss that I use for this and I was using max charge of trail boss in my other one and it handled it just fine the second 4590 cracked along the base and it cracked a little better than halfway around I was quite surprised extracting these after I put a piece of plastic in the chamber it it was all I could do to close the, the bolt and it opened just as hard and the extractor actually pulled these out with the exception of only one where the extractor jumped the groove but you would not expect it to pull that hard I certainly hope it wouldn't pull that hard once you had a properly fire form round and you can see on these there's a little bit of a shoulder right here on the fire forming and uh, I didn't anneal these or anything first I will do that at a later date but I gotta get a proper set of dies before I can go any further on this project anyway I just wanted to share this much of it um, despite having an undersized small rim they do extract quite well um, the base diameter is sufficient um, they're just a very tiny bit undersized but what I did is I left a little bit of the belt on here so it keeps it centered of these ones even with cramming a piece of plastic in the chamber as you can see in the primers they're still centered up quite well um, I've certainly had other rifles that were not that good so I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hope you find this informative. There's bits of unburnt powder coming out of there, but um, the next ones I think I'll take it up to a full CC of uh, of powder to fire form those, and also annealing the brass will will help it. I will anneal it probably from about quarter way up all the way to the top, so about three quarters of the case. So. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe.